If you're looking for a car to cruise along the motorways on during the week and then throw the family in at the weekend, then this isn't the most obvious choice. But you might be surprised by what the Toyota Avensis has got to offer. The entry-level model is well equipped with air conditioning, alloy wheels, cruise control and front electric windows, but we'd recommend the mid-range business edition. It adds a touchscreen sat-nav, parking sensors, DAB digital radio and part Alcantara, part leather seats. The first thing you notice when you sit in the Avensis is that it has a real comfortable feel. It's plush and it seems very well built. The seat is large and it's easily adjusted, as is the steering wheel, which has got plenty of adjustment for height and reach. It's finished in nice soft leather and you've got all the controls that you need right at your fingertips. Now there's plenty of room here in the back. Because the floor is completely flat, you'll easily fit three adults in. Legroom is good, headroom is good, and it's been maximised by the way Toyota have slightly reclined the back seats. If you want to get smaller people in here, then you've got two Isofix child seat points to keep them safe and sound. There are three engines on offer, two diesels and a 1.8 litre petrol, which is the only one available with an automatic gearbox. Now we'd recommend the 1.6 litre diesel which we've got here. It offers a great balance between economy and performance. It's got CO2 emissions of just 109 grams per kilometre and should return around 67 miles to the gallon. Now it's only available with a manual gearbox which is very smooth while the engine is quiet and the suspension soaks up bumps on the road, giving the Avensis an all-round easy, pleasant driving experience. It also has the added bonus of a five-star Euro NCAP rating. It gets seven airbags, electronic stability control and a tyre pressure warning system all as standard. Now there are a few things that let the Avensis down. Despite the fact that this central touchscreen control panel is intuitive, very easy to use, it does a couple of really irritating things. For example, when you want to alter the air conditioning, it pops up here on the main screen, overriding things like the sat-nav, which is really annoying if you're relying on it to get somewhere. And the front door bins are quite small, along with those in the back. As for the boot, well, it's not as big as a VW Passat, and it's also an awkward shape inside. But those issues don't alter the fact that this is a good car at a competitive price. Look, it's never going to be the most fun car to drive, but it will get you from A to B without breaking the bank. And for most of us, that's what we need on a daily basis. If you're looking for something similar, check out our review of the Mazda 6 here. Or if you're looking for something a little more slick, take a look at the Volkswagen Passat. Click here to watch our latest video or on our logo to subscribe. And if you're watching on mobile, the links below the video do the same thing.